The Ninja Turtles' Greatest Allies The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are closer than any crime-fighting or superhero team in comics. They're more than partners. They're brothers. While no other ally will share the bond they have with each other, the TMNT have certainly opened the doors to their inner circle many times, accumulating an impressive list of allies from their own universe and beyond. April O'Neil and Casey Jones acquired fame in the fandom thanks to their appearances in TMNT's live-action and animated productions. Master Splinter taught the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles everything they know. Even popular heroes like Batman and the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers have helped the Turtles defend New York City. 10. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers lent the TMNT their morphers. IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic series achieved success around the same time that Boom! Studios' Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics picked up steam following the Shattered Grid event. Naturally, the comic publishers merged two of their most successful franchises. Though Mighty Morphin Power Rangers slash Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wasn't their first team-up, an exciting script by Ryan Parrott, beautiful cover art by Dan Mora, and impressive interiors by Simone Di Mio elevated this miniseries. Both teams of superpowered teenagers, both stumbling and finding their feet, the Power Rangers and TMNT are perfect allies who grow together in every crossover. 9. Casey Marie Jones helped The Last Ronin The Last Ronin is a glimpse at the darkest future the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have ever known, but where exactly did each turtle end up? April O'Neil and Casey Jones are two of the Turtles' closest allies, in comics, movies, television, and every other genre. Naturally, their daughter Casey Marie Jones late became a pivotal figure in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin's alternate future timeline. Casey Marie introduces the last Ronin to a group of resistance fighters and reconnects the last turtle to her mother, April. She has her mother's brains and her father's unyielding determination to help. Casey Marie is an important character in this miniseries who could gain more screen time thanks to her mutated strength and the last Ronin cliffhanger, teasing a new generation of TMNT under her protection. Eight Mighty Mutanimals are the more outlandish TMNT. Originally introduced in Archie Comics' Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures No. 19, the Mighty Mutanimals are also a team of mutated animals who frequently team up with the turtles. Mondo Gecko is a mutant gecko, Leatherhead is a mutant alligator, and Dreadmon is a mutant jackal, just to name a few. While they're more outlandish, and their designs more exaggerated, they bring a fun, light-hearted energy to TMNT stories. Modern versions of the Mighty Mutanimals appeared in the 2012 animated series as well as IDW's popular ongoing comic, created by Slash to protect other mutated animals in New York City, including the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A version of them even teamed up with the Turtles in 2023's Mutant Mayhem. 7 Slash is the Hulk of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The television series has been one of the most popular iterations of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise over the years. Slash debuted as a member of the Mighty Mutanimals, but recent appearances, particularly in IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics, have depicted him as a brutish, often uncontrollable beast. Compared to other Mutanimal members, Slash always stuck out. As a mutated snapping turtle, Slash already has more in common with the TMNT. Slash aspires to create a mutant-friendly New York City that protects the Turtles. Readers wanting to learn more about Slash should definitely check out his appearances in the City Fall and New Mutant Order arcs, which lean heavily into the sci-fi side of TMNT lore. Six Batman frequently teams up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Batman have so much in common. They've all trained in many forms of combat, they use animal motifs, not necessarily by choice, and they operate outside the law to defend their cities. Batman slash Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the first of three comic book crossovers that featured the Dark Knight traveling to the TMNT's New York and vice versa. Along with animated features like Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Batman and the heroes in Half Shells go together like peanut butter and jelly. 5. Jenica is the new fifth TMNT member. Jenica is one of the highlights of the IDW series and a major reason why readers shouldn't sleep on the current Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic run. 
Jenica was originally a member of Splinter's Foot Clan, who transformed into a mutated turtle after Leonardo donated his mutated blood to save her life. As the unofficial fifth member of the TMNT, Jenica helped the original turtles during the City at War arc, forming the Splinter Clan in their master's honor. Her yellow headband is a great visual addition to the turtles' look, and her residency in Mutant Town is sure to keep her in the TMNT comic book spotlight. April 4th O'Neill is a longtime TMNT ally. April O'Neill has been a staple of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles since its creation, but her origin is lengthy and changes across mediums. Whether studying as a science student or working as a computer programmer or journalist, April O'Neill is one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles' biggest supporters and allies. She's no ninja warrior, but her role in the scientific community has helped her uncover truths and gain access to places in New York that mutated turtles can't. In the current IDW TMNT comics, April O'Neill battles injustices against mutants and works to establish a positive relationship between the residents of Mutant Town and the rest of the world. In a world of ninja clans, mutated animals, and aliens from other worlds, April grounds the Ninja Turtle franchise. 3. Casey Jones and Raphael go so well together. While Leonardo and Raphael often butt heads due to their ideological differences and varying crime-fighting tactics, Raphael finds his other half in Casey Jones. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles save the world like superheroes, but Casey acts more like a vigilante, drawing Rafa's more violent tendencies to the surface. Casey Jones is a skilled fighter and relentless in his pursuits to help those he cares about, and while he teams up with all the Turtles, his best alliances are with Raphael. The duo specifically shine in the Body Count miniseries, which features brutal hand-to-hand -hand fights and wild shootout scenes intended for mature readers. Tumiyamoto Yusagi is the pinnacle ninja warrior. In an exclusive interview with CBR, Tribute Games game designer Fred Gemis discusses TMNT, Shredder's Revenge, Dimension Shellshock DLC. Miyamoto Yusagi originally debuted in Dark Horse's Yusagi Yojimbo comics by Stan Sakai, but later appeared in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series from the 80s. Miyamoto has a lot in common with the TMNT, from his ninja training, to his upbringing, to the very fact that he's a mutated animal. Miyamoto shares a close connection with Leonardo. Both are expert swordsmen, particularly with a katana, and both share similar values of peace and honor. Miyamoto has teamed up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on many occasions in his own comic series, the original Mirage comics, and even a one-shot set in the current IDW TMNT comic universe. One Master Splinter trained the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Master Splinter is a wise teacher, a brutal fighter, and a caring father. While Splinter's name rarely makes it to the titles of the TMNT books, the mutated rat often steals the show. Splinter has grown and evolved as much as the Turtles themselves. Naturally, the comics have explored his rivalry with Shredder, his willingness to do anything to protect his sons, and his ruthlessness as an instructor. The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies mostly depicted Splinter as the quiet, doting mentor who aids the Turtles from the sidelines. Comic readers benefit from books like the IDW series, where Splinter plays a far more active role even leading the enemy foot clan for a time.